hello guys uh today we're gonna have a look at the diodes all right let's go ahead what are diodes diodes forces the current to flow in only one direction like a one-way valve generally the function of a diode is for a rectifier and alternating current protection right hope you had the function and uh what is the diode all right even the symbol can show you as well meaning the current only flows in one direction of which is right hand side it goes from left to right and it doesn't go back to to left because it's some sort of a block thing that is blocking the current from from reversing back and on the motherboard you will see they are written as p something or pd power diode right let's go ahead uh yeah yes diodes have a negative lead and a positive lead which are called the cathode and the anode respectively okay let me show you let me show you let me show you these are all types of diodes Empty diode i hope you can see them and don't confuse the diodes these diodes uh with uh it's a titanium capacitor because they almost they look alike even this one don't confuse them with some transistors because again they look alike right these are the three leg diode they're normally the leg the three leg diode are called the uh, jewelry diode or two in one diode all right uh, meaning there would be one power going this side and another power coming in this side all right and then this is the output one pin is output inputs are this one and one pin is output on the output it can reverse and reverse back on those two pins so when you are checking this you should check if this and this are touching they shouldn't touch okay probably if i'm not mistaken yes there shouldn't be any continuity from this to this because they are coming from from different power supply there shouldn't be any continuity and again when you check this to this there shouldn't be any continuity at all instead we'll have some reading and when we reverse the probe there shouldn't be any reading at all uh zina diode this is uh this is the zina diode uh okay ba -ba -ba. Yeah, the zina diode is there to, to do what to stabilize the the voltage uh let's move on the led diodes the leds on your laptop they are diode all right uh they are diode light up give you power these are all the type of of diode how how to test them it's easy how to test the diode it's easy you put one prop here and another prop there first of all there shouldn't be any continuity at all this is how they are doing it there shouldn't be any continuity at all and once you are down once you are done you reverse the prop when you reverse the prop still there shouldn't be any continuity at all but you should get what the readings that's all when you reverse them on the other way there shouldn't be any reading and there shouldn't be any continuity and when you reverse there should be no continuity but there should be what a reading depending on the value of a diode that you are you are testing and with uh and how to test the light emitting diode the leds the one that lights up it's easy when you reverse there shouldn't be any continuity and again there shouldn't be any reading and it shouldn't light up when you reverse the probe it should light up and there shouldn't be any continuity you see the diode will light up depending on on uh, voltage okay now let's move on let's talk about the inductors the uh, inductor inductors are called uh, okay which they create an inductor which which they create an electromagnetic field all right they create an electromagnetic field to store a uh, magnetic energy okay why do we have to, 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 to store this uh magnetic uh energy Coils are often used to remove power sparks and dips from power example of an inductor yes they remove sparks remember when where you have uh two mosfet when they are switching on and off very fast maybe to convert the 19 volts into three volts or into five volts those be spikes there right so you will use coils to remove those sparks but same time induce 
uh, the, the power remove the I mean push the power uh, forward all right they induce the power they give power to something these are all the types of coils power of inductors and this is the sign of a coil on the motherboard it's gonna be like L something on the motherboard okay in inductor function in the laptop motherboard it's used to switching uh, circuits basically in a circuit switching inductor and the capacitor function is same to save current when it switch when switch is connected and released when the charger when the switch is released but the advantage of uh, of each component inductor are widely used as a circuit uh breakers one and another when executive process narrows the characteristics setting of a motherboard uh, technique inductor are used to short the chip detectors short the circuit right i hope you heard the function how to test an inductor it's easy you put one prop on another side then one prop on to another side they should be what they should be a continuity because it allows power to to pass through the buzz should make sound all right anyway uh i don't want to cover more stuff okay, and one more thing with an inductor it's very rare to find a dead inductor it's like i won't lie to you ever since i've repaired the motherboard i've never found a bad inductor where maybe it's broken no i've never found any broken induct and i don't think we ever find one it's very 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 hard it's rare to find any broken inductors all right all right this is a sign these are types these are all the types and this is the sign and l is a rolled wire you can see an inductor yes anyway uh i want to stop here but anyway i'm uh, i want to go through into transistors but transistors are switches as you can see the guy pressing the part in there it's just a switch did they allow power to pass or not pass or not pass or not okay but anyway uh, i don't wanna go through this is what i like the mosfets uh you know what no ways let me just make another video of the mosfets just stay tuned we will go through mosfets anyway bye bye